Today, we are going to cover the topic on bubble salt. Okay, so we call this bubble salt. In this case, the ultimate goal is still the same. That is to arrange these values in ascending order. Okay, so now, similar to selection sort, we will go through this okay, for four passes. Total number of values that we have in the array minus one. That is the total passes that we have to go through. Okay, so in the case of bubble sort, the idea is that Whenever you have a smaller value, you are going to swap, okay, with the uh, with the greater values, okay. So you are going to make comparison two by two every time from the beginning till the end. So for the first pass, look at here carefully, okay. We are going to compare eighty four and twenty nine, okay. So since twenty nine is smaller than 84, so it will swap okay, between these two values. Then we are going to continue, okay, we are going to continue 84 with 16. Okay, continue compare to 84 and 16. In this case, we have to swap okay, 84 and 16. So you will have 16 here, 84 here. Okay, next, compare 84 with 12. Okay, so you will have 12 here, 84 here. 84 and 43, we have to swap. So you have 43 here and 84 here. After the first pass, okay, the result of the, bub uh, of the, of the step okay, in bubble sort, you have this sequence, 29. 16, 12, 43, and 84. Okay, so in the case of bubble sort, the last value here after the first pass is already in sorted order. Okay, now we have to go through for the next pass. Okay, so here you have to compare the two values, 29 and 16. So you have to swap 16 and 29. Okay. Then you compare 29 and 12. Yes, we need to swap. So you have 12 and 29. Compare 29 with 43. We do not need to swap. Okay. Between 29 and 43. Okay. So what will happen now? You have 16, 12. 29, 43, and 84. So after the second pass, the last two values here are already in sorted order. Okay? We have to go through this for the next pass. Okay? So you compare 16 and 12. Yes. We need to swap. Okay? 16 and 29. No need. Okay? So now you have 12, 16, 29, 43, 84. So definitely after the third pass, okay, these three values are already in sorted order. Finally, okay, in the fourth pass, okay, you compare between these two. No swapping is necessary. Okay, so you, we have 12, 16, okay, 29, 43 and 84. So eventually we have all of these five values in sorted order. Okay. Let us try another example. Okay. Now. Let's say we have 90, 80, then we have 60, 50, 20, and 10. Okay. 
So looking at this example, we know that we are going to have six, uh, we, sorry, we have six values, meaning that okay, we have five passes. Okay. Compare 90 with 80, we need to swap. 90 and 60, we need to swap. 90 and 50, yes, we need to swap. 90 and 20, yes. 90 and 10, yes. Okay, so after the first pass, what you have okay, in the array should be 80, 60, 50, 20, 10, and 90. Okay, so after the first pass, the value in the last position is already in sorted order. Okay, now this is the second pass. Okay, 80 and 60, yes. 80 and 50, yes. 50, 80 and 20, yes. 80 and 10, yes. Okay, so here you have 60, 50, 20, 10, 80, and 90. After the second pass, okay, you have two values in sorted order. Okay, we continue to make the, com uh, the comparison. 50 and 60, yes. 60 and 20, yes. 60 and 10, yes. Okay, so eventually after the third pass, you have 50 followed by 20, 10, 60, 80, and 90. So the last three values are already in sorted order. Okay, continue with the, compa with the comparison. 20 and 50, yes. 50 and 10, yes. Okay, so eventually after the, after the fourth pass, Okay, you have 20, followed by 10, 50, 60, 80, and 90. Okay, so after the fourth pass, definitely these four values are already in sorted order. Okay, finally, okay, 20 and 10, yes. Okay, so after the fifth pass, okay, all of the values are already in sorted order. Okay, so with the two examples, okay, I believe that you can already apply our bubble sort. So I hope you enjoy applying bubble sort in the uh, in arranging or in uh, actually sorting the values in ascending order. Okay, hope to see you again in the next session. Thank you.